Boy, did I need this. Hey guys, it's G from the F Word here to review Borderliner. It is a Scandinavian crime thriller from Netflix. Now, it opens up at the tail end of an investigation that has just been concluded. Our main character, Nikolai, busts another cop, which was kind of a no-no, ratting on your colleagues and stuff. But this cop ended up killing his informant, a young girl who's had her issues, drugs and stuff like that. They don't dive too much into it. But the flip side of it, which is not a spoiler because you do end up finding it within three minutes of the first episode, is that the informant is his boyfriend's sister. And very few people know about... Nikolai and his boyfriend's relationship and how it ties into this case because there's some conflict of interest in there that will not bode well for our main character. So while this thing is pending trial, he goes back home to go visit his brother, who's a cop, his dad, who's a cop, and his nephew and his niece, who are not cops because they're too young. One morning, he sees his brother's going off to work, but he's a little bit drunk. So he's going on to a call of a suspected suicide. And Nikolai's like, well, I'll drive you because you are in no shape to be doing this. So he drives him to the scene and we get our supposed suicide. But it's not just a suicide. It ends up being a lot more. And what we end up having is kind of a character study on the choices that people make to protect the ones they love. Now, I'm going to be very careful because there's a lot of stuff that could be spoiler territory here. So I'm just going to go into as basic form of the good and the bad as I can because I don't want to spoil anything for you. So our characters are great, Nikolai especially, a man that carries a lot of the weight of his decisions on his face and you feel it with him. You understand the way that he's shown when he's making certain decisions is each one is difficult for him to make. You can, you can see him thinking through it and whichever way he goes, on the one hand you understand, on the other hand you're like, man, don't do this because you do feel for him. Another really good character in this, aside from his brother who's Lars, who's played very well, and his dad is Another detective who comes in named Anakin, and she is written very intelligently. She is a smart, she is a confident individual, has her own dark past, but they sh they tell us in a way that, that you could feel the weight, but without giving us too much. They're working together, and the professional relationship does get pushed based on the decisions that Nikolai makes. All the hallmarks of a very good show are in this. It's gritty, it's got great writing, it's got good characters, it has a really good story. The truth of what the suicide ultimately ends up being is not given to us right away. We have bits and pieces, and it's just fitting it in perfectly every episode until we get a full realization of it and all the players that are involved. Another thing I'll mention is because shows like this tend to be really gritty and the color palette is a little bit grayish, a little bit more monochromatic, this one does a really good job of staying gritty but introducing some good contrast in colors that make a lot of the scenes pop uh, the forests look alive they look lush they look great it was really nice to see those pops of color because it does work well with the darker moments color wise in the show i'm going to be nitpicking here because i really like this i don't know how many bad things there are i wouldn't even consider anything really bad at one point i felt it veered off in one episode and this is just a one episode nitpick of what I thought the story was about, which was more of a character study into the layers of Nikolai and the choices that he makes. Then it goes into something a little bit different, but there is something that brings it right back. So it's a very brief moment and it doesn't last long because when it comes back, it brings us right back to exactly what I got out of this. You may get something completely different, but this, what, what I got out of it, it brought right back. So not really a bad thing, just more of a nitpick. So Borderliner, it is a really good show. It's my first introduction to Scandinavian crime dramas, crime thriller. I loved a lot about this. I thought, I think it's really good. It's definitely worth binging. It's eight episodes, 43 minutes an episode, but it goes by really fast. But more importantly, it does a really good job. And the character of Nikolai and the actor who plays him does a great job of just giving us layers to his character and having us understand where he's coming from in every decision that he makes. But we all do make choices in our daily lives that do weigh on us in some way, shape, or form, and this shows it really well. 
And on top of that, you just have some really smart writing. You have good characters all around. Definitely, definitely check this out. Anyways, that's my quick non-spoiler review of Borderliner from Netflix. Let me know in the comments below if you get a chance to see this. If you do, I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can follow me on Twitter at the F words G. You can email us at the F podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts. And until next time, I'm G and I am out.